Hello everyone, welcome back to the Agri Adventures 15 minutes interview on Radio Italiano dell'Aide and on the Agri Adventures socials. Today we will have the opportunity uh, to speak with Mario Marino. Uh, Mario Marino is a lecturer at the um, College of the Art in Adelaide, he specifically is a teacher in uh, music. So we have the opportunity to speak with him regarding the music industry, and uh, the uh, pathway of studies in tapes. It is a little bit different to what is the topic that generally AgriAdventure speaks about, but that is mainly because AgriAdventure is trying to support the economy that goes around uh, food production and uh, agritourism, and music is generally a good part of this because it's a local entertainment. So enjoy it, I will see you after the interview. Ciao. Hello. 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 Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Welcome back in one of uh, the 50 minutes interview on Agri Adventures. And uh, today we are here with uh, Mario Marino. Oh, you can see uh, we are in the uh, Radio Italia Uno uh, um, venue. Okay, so uh, Mario is a uh, um, lecturer, I suppose, teacher lecturer at the um, TAFE in Adelaide at the College of Arts and Music in TAFE. Is that correct? That's correct. That's, That's correct. correct. Yeah. And um, he will be part with us. We're working together to develop a couple of uh, music events here in the radio and maybe in other opportunities. But today we would like to, first of all, know a little bit uh, more about you, because you are Mario Marino, Marino pronounced in Italian way, I don't know. If Marino. Marino, perfect. Mario Marino. So you are originally, or your family is originally from Italy, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, dad, mum and dad are no longer with us, but ah, uh, Papa, dad uh, come from uh, Artavilla okay. in Pirna, which is uh, in Campania. Yes, uh, Artavilla Irpinia. Ooh, good wine from there. Good wine. Good okay. wine. I've been studying wine, uh, okay. in Italian wines, and Irpinia is a really good area for a Yannico, uh, for a... Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go too much far away because it could speak for uh, the whole interview. <laughs> Sorry if I it's interrupt you. That's okay. That's dad. Uh, and mum comes from uh, San Martino. Okay. Uh, which is next to Benevento. Oh, okay. Close to Benevento. Okay, perfect. So it's all like close together. So near Naples. Near Naples. And uh, when when they came over here in Australia? Uh, Mum and Dad came over in the 50s. In the 50s. In the uh, 50s. Were late, the late 50s. Late, late 50s. 50s. Which is, it seems, a kind of uh, common over here. I've met a lot of people that their parents, they came in the 50s. That's right. Like 50, 55, like in, uh, in McLaren Vale, the big migration of Italians yeah. around the 56, right. 57. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And what they've been doing over here? Like, what were their profession? Uh, okay. Dad uh, worked at Holden's. Mm -hmm. When Holden's was still here. It's no longer here, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But Dad was working at Holden's. He was uh, in the metal metal uh, section of Holden's. He became a leading hand. Okay. Uh, but Dad was very good with his with his hands. He was especially with metal welding and building uh, gates and, and frames and uh, very good with his hands. That's what Dad was doing. Mm -hmm. And Mum worked, first of all, she worked at a pottery. Oh, at, wow. Uh, where they made pots and, and plates. And this was in Trinity Gardens. Okay. And then after that, she worked at Gibbs. Which, which became, Gibbs was in Glenburn Road, uh -huh. it's now something else, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's, yeah, it's a different company has taken it over, but uh, Gibbs, Gibbs you did uh, pies, pasties. So yeah. nice because like they brought in a lot of uh, crafting skill, it sounds like. Uh, yes. they, they've been bringing all these manual skills which were required quite a lot back in the days, and probably still now. Yeah. When I grew up, we never bought anything. Everything was handmade. Everything wow. was grown at home. The animals, we raised them at home. Chickens. Wow. You know. That, that's amazing. That's just something know, and, that's... Yeah. So what, what are you doing? Like what's your, what's your, what's your job like at TAFE? Uh, so I'm a music lecturer at TAFE. Mm -hmm. And my area is drums. So that's because I'm a drummer. Okay. Um, so I lecture, uh, we got different courses we've got a circ 3 course which is the beginning uh, stages mm -hmm. the, st the starting course that's a, th a six month course mm -hmm. then we've got a certificate four which is the next step okay uh, and that is another six months of study 
And then we've got a diploma mm -hmm. course, which is the final step of, of that you can study at TAFE, music, mm -hmm. uh, and that's for a year. They can enter the courses at any stage. If you're right at the beginning, if you started, you'll start at Circ 3. Mm -hmm. If you know a little bit more, you've got a little bit more experience, you can do Circ 4. If you're quite an accomplished player and th in got, got theory, you can enter at diploma. So you can enter the courses at any stage. Okay, any other so stage. do they have to pass a sort of entry test? With TAFE, with every course, you have to sit a test. It's just a basic skills test. With the music courses, there's an audition process. So you come in and you, you apply. We go through, you know, how do you play? So, so we have a look at the way you play. Mm. We also, in the higher levels, you have a, a theory test. Okay. So you do a test. It's not science. It's not, no, it's just to get an idea of where you're at. You know, we make What's a decision the where the best entry point for you is to, to join the course. Okay. And, um, but at the end of this course, uh, what's the outcome that the students, they should expect? And uh, what actually you think they should provide? So what is the benefit that you think is going to be brought into people and what these people will bring to the industry? Okay. doing these courses. Okay, so the outcomes, there's a couple of outcomes. First of all, a lot of our students go on and study at university. They move forward and study at university. Either they do the, the jazz course, the classical course, okay. or the popular course. Other pathways, what we do with music, there's no, okay, there's a job, or there's a company, or, you know, they have to start their own business. Mm. So at TAFE, uh, we, we teach them all aspects of that. So they do a music business unit, they'll do a, a history unit, they've got you know, their own instrument specific masterclass. Okay. They learn to, to be in an ensemble, so they learn how to run an ensemble, mm. ensemble, how to promote. All of these things we, we, we teach them. We we've have an, uh, a WHS, work health and safety, yes, and safety component exactly. in yes. all levels. There's music technology, there's a songwriting uh, component in the course. So there's a very broad spectrum of the whole industry, the whole, so, so that they're ready to start to provide freelance services because that's what they're going to end up being. So they're going to be freelancers. So we've got some students that have spread their wings all across the world, actually. Uh, we've got people that are, are very successful in uh, Los Angeles. Oh, wow. And this particular bass player, she's, she's doing fantastically well over there. She's, she's as a bass player, as a teacher, but mainly as a bass player performer. She's played at all the massive festivals, been on all the uh, late night TV shows with her band. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's been very successful. So it's from there, we've got people that run their own bands that, that are actually in Adelaide, that become... Uh, agents so they're booking agents so they book other bands or they, they run okay. events okay so we've got people doing that we've got people that have they're working in music stores okay so it's music related so uh, th we've also got people that that branch out a little bit more and they 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 run a business where it's uh, they've got a music studio mm -hmm. and they record they provide the recording studio for people, but also a rehearsal uh, rooms for people. So there are a lot of uh, possible outcomes. Like there is. for my studies, when I've been studying at TAFE, yeah. what I found really interesting it was the TAFE was focused on the next step is business. So you enter the business straight away from TAFE, which I think is an amazing opportunity. Yeah. And um, if you really want that you like to be more technical, you can go to the university. And if you want to like you know, be more uh, dirty hands and try up a little bit. They're gonna give you all the the tools, not just music speaking, but also they give you you know as as you said health and safety, and they're gonna introduce you to the other aspect of manage um, an audio music business. Yeah. I mean, in two years time you can jump from mainly just be an aficionado to actually start your own business in music. And I say that is amazing also because they are actually doing the extra step to connect the students with the customers. Correct. So which is something that woo, I haven't seen happen really often. One, one really uh, excellent thing that's happening at the Adelaide College of the Arts is the musicians work very closely with other we're working closely with the sound crew. We work closely with them. We provide live entertainment for them. They do the sound. So they're interacting. Not only are they learning all the things they do in our group, 
but they're also interacting with the sound and they're learning to work with sound engineers, the front of house engineers, the side field, the stage crew, the lighting guys, so there's the lighting crew. Exactly, and So exactly. they're learning and they're having experience in that sense exactly. too, which is what happens in the real world. There's a lot of other creative industries there. There's, and there's dance and there's acting and there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of opportunity to, to collaborate to with integrate, the, in, integrate. In the world. It's, it's, yes, because absolutely. we're all in it together. Actually, uh, we organize the community market over here in Radio Italia Uno because the, the need and the want of a network. That's right. Uh, food producers are coming over here. There are uh, businesses that, like you say, for students, I, I'm doing for uh, food businesses that yep. maybe they do not have a market. Yep. Uh, maybe they are starting their business and uh, they don't have the energy and the money resources to promote themselves. So coming over here, they can present their products, present their self and uh, to the, the, the general public, but also to other businesses. Yeah. Like I have businesses that they are coming. I have uh, business people coming to the event just because when they come over, they can meet a restaurant, they can meet a wine producer. They, can, they maybe they won't be able to meet in any other way because the world is big and small at the same time. So that's, right. that's why the Agri Adventures project it's it is that Mal. It's right. is. And just a question. Uh, uh, correlated with the COVID uh, and correlated with uh, the last difficulties. Uh, I know that the um, education industry have been hit a little bit uh, from limitations in terms of students, especially here in South Australia. So uh, did you, are, are you finding difficulties at the moment in the industry? Um, so as a course sense, so, mm -hmm. uh, so when COVID hit, we had a, a number of students with us. Uh, being a primarily, uh, they want to have the experience and they want to have the live experience. So we had, we were forced to go online with a lot of things. Ah, okay. So what happened, a lot of students weren't happy with that. So we did uh, lose a few students. A couple of those students have come back and uh, because they paused their study and they come back and they're completing their study. As an industry as a whole, not only am I a lecturer, I'm a, also a practicing musician mm -hmm. and uh, I had a lot of work. Uh, I, I play in various situations from jazz to, to pop to rock to all sorts of uh, events. Um, and most of those shows, gigs have all been canceled. So as an industry, as, as you know, as, as a, an entertainment industry, you know, and been suffering. It's, we've been suffering. That's the first industry to be cut. Yeah. And, and it's, it's coming back slightly, so it's, that's very, very pleasing. Mm. But it's, we've been decimated. The arts industry has been decimated. It's been decimated. Yeah. The, the live music industry, just like the, um, you know, any, anything that's gathering of people, which yeah. is what we're, we're about, yeah. it's been hit. It's, it's been very, hit. very hard. On the other flip side, there's a, because we've had a really good COVID outcome in South Australia, there have been some opportunities. Oh, there's going to be more opportunities coming up, coming forward. For instance, the Fringe Festival mm -hmm. that's happening, or normally happens next year, uh, because uh, because of the international closures and mm -hmm. not letting them, there's opportunities for local musicians and artists to- Oh yeah, to, 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 exactly. And there's, so it opens up more opportunity for all of us that are here exactly. to be more involved. Yeah. And from a bad thing, if we can keep our numbers under control and have no spread of COVID here, mm. we can use our local talent. I mean, we've got a lot of talent here. And I think at the moment, South Australia, there's a couple of projects happening that have put us on the map. People are thinking, what's happening in Adelaide? You know, because exactly. there's, there's some really amazing talent here in Adelaide. And yeah. so Adelaide's looking promising for the future. Promising for, for the, the future. future. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I've seen that happening in the tourism industry. Yep. That's what this, my business is about. Yep. And uh, I'm really happy now because people is moving their attention on uh, the small and local. So a lot of people is now thinking, what am I going to do this uh, this summer? I cannot, I cannot go to Bali. 
Yep. Uh, I cannot go to my European destinations uh, because they are unsafe or because there are no uh, fly going. So where I go, oh, I can go to visit this winery. I can go to visit this cheese producer. I can go to visit this. Uh, and actually, that's what Agri Adventures is. is try to bring all together so that when you want to look for, you simply can go and click and say, oh, that's this place and that place and that place and that place. And I can spend my weekend going around and and tapping in these different businesses which are in need of our support. Absolutely. And, uh, That's right. and this thing is actually is really good because these businesses need entertainment. That's right. So we may can figure it out to flip the, the, the negative of COVID into a more uh, local and sometimes more personal entertainment than not what it was uh, in the past where Correct. people was going to look to the big players all over the, the planet because they want to go to see the big concert, 3,000, 4,000 people. And all players that they are in the area that they are studying and they can, they can properly express mm. the, 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 the music over here, they're struggling because mm. there is a big voice. But now the big voice is not available, so maybe we can help them to grow up correct. and become our big players. Huh? That's, that's correct, yeah. Perfect. You know, we've got the best musicians in the world here. We really do. And, and, and everything that goes around that, the engineers, we've got everything to do with the industry. We've got it here in our own backyard, so we should support that. Um, so it's a perfect yeah. time to discover yeah. more South Australia. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. So thank you very much for being thank with you. us. No uh, worries, thank you. And, thank you. Um, Thank you for you following us on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, on the radio, Radio Italia Uno. We will see, go to check the Facebook page or the Agri Adventures uh, website, which is uh, www.agriadventures.com.au. You will find the events on the page and then you can book and you can come over. We can see students playing here and then maybe in other venues too. That's I don't know. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Hello, everyone. So I hope that you've been enjoying uh, this interview with Mario Marino uh, from the College of the Art in Adelaide. We had the opportunity to learn more about uh, the problems that the music industry have been facing in the last month. But also we had the opportunity to learn about the possible pathways that TAFE is offering for people interested to start their career in music and entertainment. Uh, also for this episode we have specials, we have a couple of interviews with the students of TAFE to understand from their side why, how and where they want to go. Enjoy it! Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Luke. Luke, nice to meet you Luke. Nice How's it going today? Yeah, it's going really well, mate. Um, so, um, what are you doing over here? Um, well, I'm studying uh, my diploma in of music here uh -huh. at TAFE, playing uh, guitar. Okay, how old are you? Uh, I'm 19. 19, again. That's a very big challenge, a really big challenge. What do you think? How's the environment? Do you like it? Yeah, it's a good environment here at TAFE. Um, it's very welcoming. It's, it feels more of a, like a community than something like school did. It's okay. really good for learning and a really good place to meet good people and make connections. That's, that's a really good thing. So you will come to uh, one of our community markets at the Radio Italia Una de Lai that plays a little bit of music. Yes, yeah, we'll be um, playing a little set for you guys. Yeah, and I've noticed the energy that you've been pulling out, like it's completely changing, you know, Mr. Hyde, like <laughs> a lot of energy. It was really good, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, thank you very much. And it's just your, the guitar, your favorite uh, instrument? Do you have any other instrument you like to play? Um, I like to sing a little bit, but guitar is my... Um, that was the one for me, I guess. And where would you like to go? Um, I'd like to be heading my own band, be front band, front man of a massive rock band, if I could. Wow. But okay. That's the dream. That's the dream. That's good ambition. You're 19, so that is the right time to start it. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Chelsea Shelton. Chelsea. Oh, okay. Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. Australia. Australia. The Riverland okay. and Adelaide, like. Back and forth. Oh, okay, I've been in Riverland. I've been visiting a couple of times. I really like the place. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So many oranges. Yeah. It's <laughs> not much live music. <laughs> not much. That's why I'm here. That's exactly. <laughs> so you are here because uh, you're learning. You've been studying before music? Um, I studied like year 10 
in, like music. So, okay. Yeah. And then I'm cert three and cert four and like this. This. And uh, <laughs> why did you decide to move in music? Um, I wanted to do psychology, and then I just I was just like, wait, no, I like music more. So just yeah, went with this, and I thought it would help with like um, anxiety and just mm -hmm. to be more creative and stuff like that. Absolutely, absolutely. Being on the stage is really helpful for that. Yeah, it's a journey. Like, yes. I haven't come as far as I thought I would, but I also need to put more energy and effort into it and practice, practice. And I've seen, I've seen that you have a lot of energy that you have to push out. So Thanks. that's really good. How do you think about tape? I love it. Um, I used to stay here until like they closed. It felt like home. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've come in four days a week now, I think, and I just love it. So we will have you to play a little bit of your music at mm -hmm. the community market over there at the radio. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be a really good opportunity for you to test a little bit, you know, people and see how they react to your music. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a really fun experience, mm -hmm. therefore sure. Yep. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for being with us today. Thanks. I will see you at the Radio Italia Uno. Yeah, see you then. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Well, and that's it for today. So we will see the next week with another episode of the Agri Adventures 15 Minutes interview on Radio Italia Una Delaide and on the Agri Adventures social platform. Have a great day from Simone. Ciao.